Hello, everyone. You might remember a couple of units ago that we discovered what we decided to call Newton's Third Law of Motion. It dealt with the forces of interaction right, and the size of those forces, and we found that those forces were always equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, or perhaps in the more pithy way, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But back then I told you I really don't like that action-reaction terminology, right? I tend to call them Newton's third law pairs or Newton's third law forces because a lot of times people confuse what Newton's third law says with the effects of Newton's third law. And that is especially true with that whole action-reaction thing. Newton's third law guarantees that the forces of interaction are equal and opposite. But it doesn't say anything about what's going to happen because of those forces. Right? What effects will those forces have? And that's what we're going to look at in our next lab. We're going to set up a situation much like you did before with Newton's third law, but with a little extra information. And you're going to have a couple of carts, which you're going to be able to make collide. Right? You can change the masses of those carts. And we've got this set up so that you can make these carts um, multiples of one another because okay, we want to try some different masses. So you can make the carts the exact same mass. You can make one cart. I think the green cart, we're going to make a bigger two times the mass, three times the mass, and even four times the mass of the yellow cart. Run them into one another and see what's going to happen. In each case, we're going to do three different collisions and each kind of mass uh, pairing. We're going to do one where um, the yellow cart starts out at rest, like I'm about to show you here one where the green cart starts out at rest and then one where you push them and they hit and they're both moving. All right, so in all cases, you'll run it this way. Right, it'll collide. And we'll look again at the forces, although hopefully you kind of already know what you're going to see there, but it should help to reinforce that. But the big thing that we're also going to be able to do here is that we're going to turn on the little encoder wheels that are underneath the carts, right? The fifth wheel that we used... Um, in some recent labs, and we're going to use that wheel to look at how much the carts accelerate while those forces are being applied. So during that brief fraction of a second where those carts are actually interacting with one another, and by the way, we're gonna use little magnet ends on these, right, just to keep everything nice and clean. Uh, and so we're going to look at the accelerations during that and compare them. So this is what I mean here, all right? You're going to set up graphical analysis, and of course there is a uh, way to do that, and that will be on the uh, table that you will use, right? A whole bunch of steps you got to do. You got to get both of your carts paired to the computer, all of that kind of stuff, right? But you're going to have graphs of forces versus time and accelerations versus time. Okay, force versus time and accelerations versus time. Remember that you can double click or click on here to auto scale, right? Often nice things. And then you can click and that'll bring up a little examine bar and you can just move this around to look at the forces. So here's the force of one cart and here's the force on the other cart, right? Again, hopefully you kind of have an idea what you're gonna see there. But the big thing is notice that when those forces occur, there's also accelerations that occur. And so you can click here and you can compare the accelerations. I tend to look at the biggest one, but you know, you could pick really any point within here and kind of compare those accelerations and see, are they the same or how do they compare? Right, one cart to the other. Now, although it isn't this way in my picture, I believe when you actually run this, there's gonna be a green line and a yellow line that look kind of like the carts. So you can keep track of which one is which, but it's also over here on the side, right? It says capital G and capital Y right, are the uh, green and yellow carts. So you can tell which one is which. Okay, so again, you're going to do this with different mass carts. You're going to do a, a set of three collisions when they're equal masses, a set of three collisions when the green cart has twice the mass, three times the mass, and four times the mass of the yellow cart. Call us over. And if you're not sure how to make your carts exactly that mass, but you'll see that you have a bunch of masses on your table and a little chart that tells you uh, how much mass your cart has, how much mass the bar masses have, and the wood block that you're going to use, and all the other masses in the blue box, of course, have their mass written right on them. So, hope you enjoy 
this little lab on the effects of Newton's third law of motion.